One of the biggest mistakes I made for years and years and years that massively negatively impacted the physical results I was looking to get, but also my anxiety levels and my low mood was not having an adequate breakfast. So when I was working in London, I'd wait till about 11, 11.30, go and grab a sugary latte from Starbucks because I was trying to restrict my calories. Um, I was very obsessive at that time and I was trying to restrict my calories by not having breakfast. The thing I now know about that, um, research suggests that the first thing we have in the morning after our evening meal is what sets the bandwidth, your insulin bandwidth for the rest of the day. So if you have something really sugary, you've got kind of like low blood sugar levels anyway at that point. If you go for something really sugary, it's gonna spike those insulin levels and be on a roller coaster. The bandwidth's gonna be really high up and down for the rest of the day, meaning you're more likely to crave more high sugar food because you're getting that dip and you wanna go back up again. What you really need to do, and I know it can be scary if you're not used to having you know, calories and a proper breakfast, but what I would say is, Make sure you're having a breakfast of good quality protein, good quality fats, and low GI carbs, because that's gonna set a really decent insulin bandwidth for the rest of the day and stop these spikes in energy up and down. And I would say, if you are doing intermittent fasting, I, I don't suggest clients do intermittent fasting any longer than 16 hours. Again, because I think breakfast is incredibly important, and again, it stabilizes that energy. I know lots of people have different ideas around intermittent fasting. I'm giving you my, my advice. I would love, you to tell me, are you one of these people that is scared of having breakfast, you restrict your calories like I used to at the beginning of the day, and then find that you have energy highs and lows? Uh, let me know in the comments, I'm sending you lots of love.